Getting to a multi-room system with Ava Cinema Remote and Ava OS controlling numerous devices starts with a first simple setup. You're about to see a simple setup from factory new to a first working system. This setup involves just a TV, an AV receiver, and an Apple TV 4K. Additional videos will take you way beyond the basics shown here, but follow along to have a first success in learning how to use Ava OS and Ava Cinema Remote. After powering up and arriving at the welcome screen, tap Begin. You need a Google account for each home you set up. Never use anyone's personal Google account, neither your own nor your customers. This keeps personal data like login credentials, email, and text messages off the remote. Create one new Google account for each home you set up. Store the ID and password in a secure password keeper. Use that same account for all remotes you set up in the home and any replacements or additional remotes the home needs in the future. The Google account enables Cinema Remote to get apps from the Play Store and keep them updated. Update the Ava app and the Dynamic Keypad app when the remote prompts you. Once up to date, choose whether to accept the license and data policy and then allow Ava OS to start. Check out other videos to see how to join in an existing project. We're creating a new project. You cannot set up an Ava OS project without an Ava Pro account. This is the same account you use to log into the Ava Store and Ava Support site. Never share it out. After logging in, choose whether to run the project on the remote or on an Ava Nano Brain. Keeping this setup simple, we're going with remote only. Name the project and then assign the remote to a room. You can give the remote a name at this point too. Names help when you have multiple projects and devices on the network but it's not so important for this single remote demo project. The project gets created and you're ready to start adding devices. Enter the model of your device. Assign it to a room, like home cinema. If you choose an IR controlled device, you can test to confirm whether it works before continuing. Add the next device, in this case, a Morantz AV receiver, each of these devices has to be assigned to the same room to let them work together. And then add the last device, the Apple TV 4K. With the three devices now added, tap Done. Before continuing to the home screen, check this screen out. You did not just add devices. Ava OS built a user interface for you, created the initial logic, and created flows. Flows are kind of like macros. They're used to orchestrate devices, and you can customize them if needed. So let's go to the home screen. You can see here that the home cinema room has icons for the TV and Apple TV. These icons are actually flows in Ava OS. The red badge on the Apple TV flow indicates that you still have some setup steps left. Tap Apple TV and you can see that you need to finish the wiring. For this demo system, the Apple TV is not connected directly to the TV, but to the AV receiver. The remote now powers on the three devices. The TV will help us confirm our wiring, so the interface first asks how the TV is connected to the AVR. When you choose an input here, the system switches the TV to that input so you can confirm. So if you select wrong, you can correct. Now you tell the system which input on the AV receiver has the Apple TV connected. The red badge is gone and Apple TV is ready to use. I'll turn it off from here. Since I only watch Apple TV in this room, the flow icon for TV is clutter. So let's remove it. From the menu, go to Settings, then Flows. You can see that the AV receiver is hidden while Apple TV and the TV are set to show. Set the TV flow to be hidden. And it's gone. When you have a setup working and ready to hand off to your client, protect the setup from kids and other meddlers by going into the installer settings and adding a pin. Remember, this demo is an intro, so we kept it really simple. You're just getting started with Ava OS, so pick one of these other videos to continue your journey from here.